Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1743, the first U.S. religious journal called the Christian History is published in Boston, Massachusetts. In 1766, the first Spanish governor of Louisiana arrives in New Orleans from Spain, taking over from the French. In 1770, today was the Boston Massacre that you have heard so much of in history class. In 1774, John Hancock delivers the fourth annual Boston Massacre Day commemoration speech. In 1798, Napoleon invades Switzerland. In 1836, Samuel Colt makes the first production model revolver, the 34 caliber. In 1841, the U.S. Senate's first continuous filibuster began and lasted until March 11th. In 1850, the Britannia Bridge across the Menai Strait between the Isle of Anglesey and the mainland of Wales is opened. In 1853, piano company Steinway & Sons is founded in New York City. In 1856, Georgia becomes the first state to regulate railroads. Sounds like a solid idea. In 1868, the stapler is patented in England by C.H. Gould. In 1872, George Westinghouse patents the air brake. In 1894, Seattle, Washington authorizes the first municipal employment office in the U.S. In 1907, the first radio broadcast of a musical composition is aired. In 1912, a Spanish steamer sinks northeast of Spain, killing 500 people. In 1921, the U.S. warns Costa Rica and Panama to settle their disputes peacefully. In 1923, Montana and Nevada become the first states to enact old age pension laws. In 1924, the Computing Tabulating Recording Corporation becomes IBM. In 1931, the poorest in India are allowed to begin using salt freely starting today. Yep, salt. In 1933, Adolf Hitler's Nazi party receives 43.9% of the vote at the Reichstag elections, putting them in power. In 1936, at the 8th Academy Awards, Mutiny on the Bounty wins Best Picture. In 1940, in what becomes known as the Katyn Massacre, the Soviet Politburo signs an order to execute 25,700 Polish people, including POWs. In 1946, in a speech in Fulton, Missouri, Winston Churchill coined the term Iron Curtain in reference to the Soviet Union. In 1953, Russian leader Joseph Stalin dies today. In 1956, King Kong is first shown on television. In 1960, Cuban photographer Alberto Corda took his iconic photograph of Marxist revolutionary Che Guevara. Also in 1960, Elvis Presley's two years in the U.S. Army ends. In 1962, at the 19th Golden Globes, The Guns of Navarone wins Best Movie. In 1963, singer-songwriter Patsy Cline passes away today in an airplane crash at the age of 30. Also in 1963, the Beatles record From Me to You and Thank You Girl. In 1964, Atlanta, Georgia Mayor Ivan Allen Jr. announces that an MLB baseball team is moving there. In 1966, BOAC Flight 911 crashes on Mount Fuji, Japan, killing 124 people. In 1970, the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty becomes active. Also in 1970, the Edison Theater opens in New York City. In 1970 as well, the movie Airport, starring Burt Lancaster and Dean Martin, is released. In 1971, Led Zeppelin first played their iconic song, Stairway to Heaven, live. In 1973, Yankee pitchers Peterson and Kikich announced they swapped wives. Yes, wives. In 1975, the 10th Academy of Country Music Awards air. Merle Haggard and Loretta Lynn are winners. In 1978, Hello, Dolly! opens at the Luntfontein Theater in New York City and runs for 152 performances. In 1979, the U.S. space probe Voyager 1 flew by Jupiter's moon Io today and observed nine active volcanoes on its surface. In 1980, Earth satellites record gamma rays from the remnants of supernova N49. In 1981, the ZX81 home computer is launched. 
Also in 1981 at Hartford, the Ice Dance Championship is won by Jane Torval and Christopher Dean. In 1981 as well, and at the same competition, Scott Hamilton wins the Men's Figure Skating Championship. In 1984, the U.S. Supreme Court voted 5-4 to four that cities may use public funds for nativity scenes. In 1986, the Today tabloid launched in Great Britain and lasted for nine years. In 1989, the 19th Easter Seal Telethon raises $37 million. In 1991, Iraq repealed its annexation of Kuwait. In 1994, a world record 1,955 gallon chocolate milkshake is made in South Africa. Also in 1994, singer Grace Slick is arrested for pointing a gun at a police officer. Solid choice. In 1995, at the 21st People's Choice Awards, Tom Hanks and Jodie Foster win for movies, and Tim Allen and Roseanne Barr win for television. Also in 1995, the grave of Tsar Nicholas II and his family is found in St. Petersburg, Russia. In 2002, U.S. reality TV program The Osbournes, featuring Ozzy Osbourne and his family, premieres on MTV. In 2003, in Haifa, 17 Israeli civilians are killed by a Hamas suicide bomb in the Haifa Bus 37 massacre. In 2006, at the 78th Academy Awards, the movie Crash, Philip Seymour Hoffman, and Reese Witherspoon win. Also in 2006, the great nature documentary Planet Earth, narrated by the also great David Attenborough, premieres on the BBC. In 2012, 27 members of Iraq's security force are killed by gunmen disguised as police in Haditha. Also in 2012, Tropical Storm Irina kills 65 people in Madagascar. In 2013, Wilcom announces the world's smallest mobile phone, weighing 32 grams or just 1.13 ounces. In 2014, a survey by the European Union Agency for Fundamental Rights reports that about one-third of women in the European Union have experienced physical or sexual violence since the age of 15. In 2017, in a tweet, U.S. President Donald Trump accuses former President Obama of wiretapping Trump Towers during the presidential campaign. In 2019, as reported in the journal Nature Today, the second person ever is cured of HIV after stem cell transplant treatment in London, England. And lastly, in 2019, Bugatti announces they will make the most expensive new car ever made with a price of nearly $19 million. But don't get out your checkbook, they are only going to make one. There was March 5th. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please remember to thumbs up, make a quick comment, and subscribe to my channel. Oh, and you might as well do notifications while you're there. I would really appreciate it. Have a great day.